you guys welcome back to the channel as y'all can see from the beginning of that tutorial today's tutorial will consist of me teaching y'all how to do the fishbowl eye effect in premiere pro if you are new to the channel please make sure that you like comment and subscribe but most importantly turn on those bell notifications because every thursday we will be dropping new tutorials also, if you want to stay updated with all of the newest things that I'm dropping in the future, please make sure that you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram will be right here. And I will make sure that I put my Instagram in the description box below. All right, man, enough talking. Let's get into this tutorial. The thing that you want to do is go down here to the project panel and click on this new item icon. And what this, this new item icon consists of the transparent video, the color mat, um, HD bars and tones, black video, bars and tones, etc. But the main thing that we are going for today is the color mat. You click that, you hit OK. Keep it at black, hit OK. Color mat, uh, you can change it to whatever you want to change it to. So I'm going to change mine to fish, uh, fish eye effect. And then boom. Once it comes over in my project panel, I will just click on it, drag it over on my timeline. And I'm going to drag it so it covers the whole clip. So as y'all can see, everything is black right now. So what you have to do is you have to go under pass it over here to the um the circle tool. Click it. Boom. And what you would do after you do that is go to mask expansion and make your mask a little bigger. So you can, so you can pull this fishbowl eye effect off. So I'm probably going to make mine about this big right here. So... After I do that, I'm gonna click invert, and as y'all can see, we have the fishbowl eye effect right here. So boom. Um, I like that expansion, but I'm gonna probably bring it down till about about right here. And then what I do is I feather it up a bit so it won't be so rough. And then I scale it up till about 10. Now nah, I'm gonna do 10. Try 102. Okay, 102 is good. So as y'all can see, we have the fishbowl effect right here. Now we missing one thing. And that one thing is the lens distortion preset. So in order to get that, you have to go over to the effects tab, type in lens distortion. You will scroll all the way down to the distort, to the distort folder right here where it says lens distortion. Get that and drag it onto your main clip right here at the bottom. And you will change the curvature from zero to 100. Boom. And then you will scale it up. however much you want it so as you guys can see y'all have the fishbowl effect right here oh yeah and um let me see if i can make this a little bigger uh let me make, see if i can make this just a little more realistic it probably will do by right though all right y'all so i'm finna get to render this out to show y'all how it looks in full motion without any choppiness All right, man, as y'all can see, we have created the fishbowl outfit. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, that sums up for today's tutorial. Today was a very quick one because it really don't take no time to do this effect. But if this effect was helpful to you in any kind of way, please make sure that you leave a comment down below. And also leave a comment down below or DM me on IG on which video or which effect y'all want to see next. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm all about helping the next person progress and grow. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you are new here, please make sure that you turn on those bell notifications so you can be notified every Thursday when a new tutorial drops. But I'm telling you, every Thursday we dropping straight heat. Oh yeah, and I cannot forget this. Like I said at the end of every video, man, make sure that you tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. And that's just what we doing, man, in the shootout. 